Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today video is all about Vishla. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. History The Vishla is a hunting, sporting dog breed from Hungary and its name means, searcher, or, tracker, in Hungarian. Vishla also means, pointer, in Hungarian. He is believed to be descent from ancient Transylvanian hound and now extinct Turkish yellow dog. It's also known as the Hungarian Vishla, Yellow Pointer, Hungarian Pointer or Magyar Vishla. It was earlier used by the Magyar tribe of the Carpathian Basin for rat hunting as far back as 800 AD and adapted for pointing, retrieving, and tracking. The first written record of Vishla appears in, Illustrated Vienna, Chronicle, prepared on order of King Louis in 1357. The Vishla is an ancestor of the Weimaraner, wire-haired Vishla and German short-haired pointer. Wire-haired Vishla are considered a separate breed. It faced near extinction in the 1800s, falling in popularity to the English pointer and started arriving in the United States at the close of World War II. A Vishla named, Sari, was the first Vishla imported to the United States, in 1950. It was recognized by American Kennel Club in 1960. It became the 116th breed recognized by AKC and today a popular show dog, hunter, loyal companion and pet. List of the pros of a Vishla. Excellent dog breed and responds to training more willingly than most pointing breeds. Most intelligent dog breed and are relatively easy to train. Vishlas are known for their love of water and incredible swimmers. Minimal grooming requirements and shed very little. Gentle, sensitive, affectionate and playful breed with lots of energy. Perfect example for very low drooling tendency which is good in terms of bad smell. Vishlas are kid-friendly dogs and recommended for elderly people. Relatively healthy breed and low, doggy odor. List of the cons of a Vishla. Not recommended for an apartment lifestyle. Not good for inexperienced owners, due to their stubborn personality. Higher tendency to nip, chew, play bite, or herd people. Prone to, separation anxiety, destructiveness and barking, when left alone too much. Vigorous exercise requirements and exuberant jumping, especially when young or not exercised enough. Timidity in some lines, or when not socialized enough. Easily distracted and shy if not socialized properly. Prey drive, chase and kill smaller animals and birds. Can Vishlas be left alone? Vishlas are an active breed and slightly hard to left alone for a long time. By proper training, they can be left alone for 4 to 6 hours. Being alone too much would increase separation anxiety, destructiveness, aggressiveness, depression, disobedience and restlessness. Don't leave your Vishla puppy alone for more than an hour, if it were 8 to 10 weeks old puppies. Mature Vishla can be left alone about 3 to 5 hours with good training. If you work in a 9 to 5 job, you cannot focus on the needs of the Vishlas but if you have an active family, then responsibilities is not complicated. It is recommended that before going to work, take your Vishla for a long walk, whether on a beach or in a park. Are Vishlas good apartment dogs? No, most Vishlas cannot adopt for apartment living. They are highly energetic active dogs, require strenuous exercises and wide space to roam freely and play. It would be best if you had a spacious home with a backyard, so your Vishla can move freely. With proper exercise and training, they can adopt for apartment life. Are Vishlas good for first-time owners? Vishlas are great first-time dogs for active dog owners. If you enjoy running or hiking, a Vishla might be the one for you. If you are not willing to exercise daily with your pet, do not even think about acquiring a Vishla as your first dog. Do Vishlas bark a lot? Vishlas make good watchdogs and generally don't bark excessively. Most Vishlas will bark to alert you of strangers approaching your home and protective of their families. Should I get a male or female Vishla? If you want a Vishla who loves to please you, playful and likely to bond with all family members, then you may get a male. 
If you want a Vishla who quick to train, gentle around children, less demanding of attention, suspicious of strangers, then you may get a female. How much does a Vishla puppy cost? A Vishla puppy is likely to cost between $500 to $1,700 with the average price being $1,100. For purebred dogs, prices can be as high as $3,200. Do Vishlas shed a lot? No, Vishlas are low to moderate shedders and need only weekly brushings to keep them free of loose hair. Their hair is so short, it is not as visible on furniture and clothing as the hair of some other breeds. Are Vishlas suitable for allergy sufferers? Vishlas are not considered to be a hypoallergenic dog by AKC, making them well suited to families worrying about allergies. Is Vishla a good family dog? Yes, Vishlas are excellent family dogs as long as they are given lots of attention, proper training, and daily vigorous exercise. They are also described as Velcro dogs, which means they follow their owners around wherever they go and require at least one hour or three to four miles of vigorous exercise every day to be happy and healthy. They understand and memorize new commands in five to 15 repetitions. This breed obeys the first command 85% of the time or better. These are high energy dogs and can hit speeds of 28 to 32 miles per hour in just a few seconds. They are highly sensitive breeds that don't respond well to harsh training techniques. Positive reinforcement and gentle commands are the only way to build their confidence. This well-established breed is known for being gentle, loyal and affectionate. Do Vishlas like to cuddle? Yes, Vishlas are famous for their love of cuddling and were bred to be not only hunters but affectionate person of the family as well. In order to remain emotionally healthy, they want lots of attention, affection, and cuddles from those they love. They are giant lap dogs. Do Vishlas clean themselves? Yes, one of the best qualities of a Vishla is that they clean themselves. They do not need regular bathing and have a naturally sweet smell, unlike most other breeds. Do Vishlas need grooming? They have a short, sleek coat with no undercoat, so they don't require complicated grooming. Trim nails once or twice a month. Do Vishlas get a winter coat? Yes, since Vishlas have a very thin coat, they find it difficult to tolerate the cold. They are usually quiet comfortable in warm temperature. Are Vishlas good off leash? Consistently walk your Vishla several miles each day to get out their energy. If they know they get all the exercise they need of their daily routine they won't run away when off a leash. They are pretty good coming back in general and don't want to be too far from you. Do Vishlas have strong prey drive? Vishla was developed specifically to have a high prey drive for upland game including birds. However, they ideally will not actually catch and kill game. They will gladly catch and kill mice, rats and other small rodents. Do Vishlas have health problems? The average lifespan of the dog is about 10 to 14 years and may suffer from hypothyroidism, dwarfism, tricuspid valve dysplasia, and progressive retinal atrophy. It is also prone to minor health concerns like lymphosarcoma and canine hip dysplasia, or major issues such as epilepsy. Appearance: Vishla coat is short, smooth and dense with no undercoat. The color is solid golden rust, also called russet. The standard coat is French row yellow in several shadings. At birth, Vishla have beautiful blue-colored eyes but as they grow up, they start to lose the blue tone and change into orange-yellow color shade. The known coat colors are yellow, copper-brown color, russet gold, and dark sandy gold. Solid, dark, mahogany red and pale yellow are considered faults and disqualify in competitions. The nose will always have a reddish color that blends with coat color and eye, nail color also blend with coat color. The average height is 22 to 24 inches, male, and 21 to 23 inches, female. The average weight is about 55 to 60 pounds, male, 44 to 55 pounds, female. Temperament, affectionate, gentle and energetic. Vishlas are very high energy, gentle mannered, loyal, caring, very affectionate and quickly form close relationship with their owners, children, and even strangers. They are often referred to as Velcro dogs because of their loyalty and affection.
They are good guard dogs when trained to be so and natural hunters with an excellent ability to take training. They will cry or whine when they feel neglected or unhappy. Not only they are great pointers, but also excellent retrievers as well. Conclusion, if you're an active family that wants a dog with more than enough energy to keep up, then the Vishla is the breed born for you. If you can provide what Vishla need, this dog can be suitable for you. But for lazy families, we don't recommend this dog. Vishla is a loving and caring dog. Life with these dog is an experience that is full of fun and joy. Evaluate each key point to determine if this breed might be best option for your home. Have you had any experience with Vishla? Tell me in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.